Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over an application on how to use solve system of equations. And we're going to be taking a look at our motion problems. Don't forget to visit our website at mathgoodserve.com for a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. All right, let's take a look at um, the problem. It reads, it says, a boat traveled 240 miles downstream and back. The trip downstream took 10 hours. The trip back took 30 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? What is the speed of the current? Okay, so in this situation, we have um, a boat going upstream. And then, um, well, it goes downstream and then back. Okay, so if you have a current going on, if you're going downstream, basically the um, boat and the direction of the stream are in the same direction. Okay, so let's say this is the uh, rate of the stream. <clears throat> let's call that R of S, the rate of the stream going down. And then you have a boat on there going down also, and then you also have the rate of the boat going down. So when the boat is going down and the rate of the stream is also going down, it's going to cause the boat to travel faster, and that's why it takes only 10 hours. But when it's going back, we have the rate of the boat going in the opposite direction as the rate of the stream. The actual uh, rate of the boat is going to be the difference of these two rates, okay? That's why it takes much longer to get to get um, back. So this is downstream, downstream, going down with a stream, and then this is upstream. All right, what you want to note is that the distance is fixed. Um, so the distance from the start to the finish, this entire length, is one is 240 miles. Okay, so let's go ahead and indicate what the distance is. The distance from start to finish is 240 miles. <clears throat> Let's call that. Okay, so we want to keep that uh, fact in mind because we're going to be using, using it to figure out, um, to set up our equations. So this is the distance, upstream or downstream, it makes no dis difference. You're covering exactly the same distance, which is uh, 240 miles. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and um, set up our variables. Um, so for upstream, going upstream, let's say du is a distance upstream. The distance upstream is equal to 240. And then let's call tu as a time upstream. How long did it, did it take the boats to go upstream, it took it 30 hours. And then um, RU is the rate upstream. Um, what is the rate going upstream? If you're going against the current, the rate upstream is going to be the rate of the boat minus the rate of the stream. Okay, so these are the variable assignments for um, going upstream. All right, how about downstream? Going downstream, we need to know the distance downstream. That's also 240, uh, 240 miles. Let's put the units here so that we don't get it confused. Um, and then the time it took the boat to go downstream. When you're going downstream uh, with the boat, you notice that the uh, current is going to cause the boat to travel faster, right? So that's why it's down to 10 hours. And then the rate downstream is going to be the rate of the boat. Now, the rate of the current is going with the boat. So you're going to add both of them together, rate of the boat plus the rate of the stream. That's why it's faster. But going upstream, you subtract because you're going in different directions. All right. So um, let me go ahead and declare my, my variables on the side here. So du is equal to, um, let's put let. I suppose it to have done this first, but it's okay. Du is equal to distance upstream. And then uh, Tu plus time upstream. 
and then uh, RU is rate of stream, of course. And then um, we have DD is equal to the distance downstream. And then TD is the time downstream, the time it takes the boat to go downstream. And then lastly, R sub D is the rate downstream. Okay, let's not forget there are also two other rates we want to declare. RS is the rate of the stream. Rate of stream. And last but not least, R sub B is the rate of the boat. Now, um, some teachers will like you to declare all your variables before you use them. But in this problem, you don't, you don't um, need to declare the variables. It's just a good practice to have everything declared. Okay, so now I'm going to be setting up two equations, a system of equations. Um, the equation that we're going to use to connect the rate, time, and distance is known as the DIRT formula. Distance equals rate times time. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the upstream uh, equation. Upstream, we have the distance upstream, which is 240, equals the rate upstream. The rate upstream is a difference of two rates. It's the rate of the boat minus the rate of the stream. And then the time upstream is 30. Okay? And downstream equation, the distance downstream is also 240. The rate downstream is the rate of the boat plus the rate of the stream. The time downstream is 10. Okay, so I can uh, go ahead and distribute this 30 to these two numbers here and then distribute 10. If I distribute it, I now have the system 240 equals distribute 30 to these two variables. You have um, 30 RB minus 30 RS. And then in the second equation, distribute 10. Okay, and then you have 240 is equal to 10 RB minus 10 rate of strain. All right, now we have a system of equations in two variables, namely rate of the boat and rate of the stream. Uh, which one do you want to solve for first? Um, doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and solve for the rate of the stream first, okay? So we want to solve for the rate of the stream. We want to eliminate the rate of the boat. Now this is 10. Uh, what can I multiply this equation by to get uh, the opposite of 10? I can multiply, since so this entire equation um, is divisible by 3, I can just conveniently multiply this entire equation by negative 1 third. All right? So because negative 1 third times 30 gives you negative 10. So let's go ahead and distribute negative 1 third to everything. So that's going to give us... One third of 240 is negative 80. One third of negative one third of 30 is negative 10 times the rate of the boat. One third of 30 is just 10. Minus times minus makes it say plus 10 rate of stream. And then here we have 240 equals 10 rate of the boat minus 10 rate of the stream. Okay, oh, actually this is a plus down here because we have a plus there. And this is also a plus. Now we have opposites. We're solving this system by elimination, okay? Just for your information, FYI. We're eliminating the rate of the boat. Now that we have opposites, we can combine. We're going to have 160 equals 20 times the rate of the stream. To isolate the rate of the stream, we'll divide both sides by 20. And then we have the rate of the stream. <coughs> rate of the stream is equal to 160 over 20 divided zeros. 2 goes into 68 miles per hour. Okay, now to find the rate um, 
of the both. We can plug in this value into any of these two equations. Let me go ahead and plug it into the equation on, on top, the first equation. So we're going to substitute, substitute eight for the rate of the stream in the first equation. So that's going to yield um, 240 equals 30 times rate of the boat, what we're looking for, minus 30 times 8. So we want to solve this equation for the rate of the boat. Okay, so if I multiply these two, I'll have 240 equals 30 times the rate of the boat, minus 240. If we add 240 to both sides, and then use the reflexive property of equality, we have 30 times the rate of the boat is equal to 480. All right, and then to finish this up, we just divide both sides by um, 30 to get rate of the boat isolated. So we have the rate of the boat is equal to, the zeros cancel out, three goes into 48, 16 times, 16 miles per hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and write all our answers. The rate of the boat in steel water in steel water is 16 miles per hour. And the rate of the um, the current is eight miles per hour. Okay, so those are our answers. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this um, tutorial. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mod.serve.com as indicated earlier. And uh, feel free to post a comment to let us know what you think about um, this clip or make requests for other tutorials that you would like us to do for you. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.